How are you all? I hope you are in very good condition. So in this video, I would like to talk about moving average and weighted moving average. Before we start, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also share this video. Without further ado, let's start. Focus. And now guys, we must be familiar with the weather forecast when we watch the news on TV. Especially nowadays, on our cell phones, we're always update about the weather forecast. Forecasting can be considered as a process of gazing and even in the future. You might ask why can they predict the weather? So forecasting can be used to estimate sales volume, number of customer complaints, employee structure, raw material costs, and so on. This video will discuss the simple methods of forecasting, namely moving average and weighted moving average. Playing trading is an attempt to pursue money or profit without draining too much energy and time. What is needed is the ability to read market conditions, analyze stock trends, and of course, capital. Moving average is an indicator that must be mastered by traders because it includes technical matters in trading. Moving average is an indicator that calculates the average of price of an asset of a certain period of time, then connects it in the form of a line. So, for your information guys, the average value can come from the opening price, closing price, highest price, lowest price, or middle price. Moving average is part of the ledging indicator. That is, this method is based on the previous events and provides information about historical market data. Its use is not as a predictive tool, but to provide confirmation. Moving average are also technical analysis indicators that are used with the aim of giving them clues about the direction of an asset's price trend in the future. In this case, investors and traders will use the average price movement of an asset within a certain time frame. Investors and traders will find it easier to read the trend of price movements. In addition, another function of moving average is to eliminate the impact of price fluctuations in the short term. Now we move to moving average functions. So the functions are number one, identify stock value trends. Number two, knowing when a trend reversal occurs. Number three, determining the position of support and resistance. Now, let's go to the example. So, for the data and the example, in this video, I took it from id.investing.com. I used the last price of BBCA shares from January 2021 to December 2021. In this example, I also directly use SPSS. The first thing you have to do, of course, is open the SPSS. So the next step is go to the variable view. Next step is change the data type according to our data. For my data here, because the period is a date, I replace the type part with date. Oh yeah guys, if your data doesn't have a decimal, then this decimal part is filled with zero. Next step is go to the data view and fill in according to our data. In this example, I use BBCA slash share price in January 2021 to December 2021. So guys, the next step we have to do is go to the transform. In order to transform this price data into let's say 3 months moving average, Simply after click transform, now click create time series. So here's as you can see, this is the create time series dialog box. The next step is go to the function and change the function to center moving average. 
Okay, now don't forget to change the span into 3. Oh yeah guys, don't forget to click change because otherwise the data will not change. So you have to click change. So after you click change, now you click OK. So after clicking OK, it will appear like this. So this is the credit series 3 month moving average. Okay guys, so as you can see, this is the 3 month moving average. After we get the 3 month moving average, now we will make the charts of or the graph. So we go to the analyze and after that, after that I'm sorry, go to forecasting. So in forecasting, now we click the sequence charts. The next step we have to do is moving period to time axis levels, like in the picture. So after moving period to time axis level, now we move price and 3 month moving average to variables box. So after we click OK, then this is the model description of 3 months moving average and the case processing summary 3 months moving average of our data so this is the graph it can be seen that the highest price was in september 2021 then there was a drastic decline from step from september to october but it can also be seen that the lowest price is in november 2021 okay now we move to the types of moving average Number one is simple moving average or SMA, is the most popular. The calculation is very simple as the name suggests. That is, all the most recent data points are added up and divided by the amount of data itself in a certain period of time. SMA uses historical data in the, in the form of hikes, lows, open prices, and close prices. This indicator is used by traders to find out when is the best time to enter and exit the market. You can get a lot from simple SMA calculations such as support and resistance points, sell and buy and so on. Second one is exponential moving average or EMA. So EMA is a type of moving average that is used to predict the, di the direction of the trend in a certain period with a focus of on movements that occur in the present rather than the past. In other words, EMA tends to be more sensitive to recent momentum than SMA. This needs to be done to assist investors in responding to current price changes more quickly, so they can also make decisions when trading more quickly. In short, this trend will help you to determine the points of support and resistance. Number three is double exponential moving average or DEMA. So DEMA is a type of moving average that is very, very popular among beginner traders because of its better accuracy and less difficult application. So for example, open price and close price. Number four is triple exponential moving average. So this type of DEMA is often collaborated with EMA and the EMA to calculate trends using tricks. Tricks is a momentum indicator that can give you information regarding the, when prices are too expensive or too cheap. So the last type is the weighted moving average or WMA. This is a topic that we will also discuss in this video. So what is the weighted moving average? So the weighted moving average method is a moving average method that is widely used to determine the trend of a time series. Without further ado, let's go to the example. 
same is the previous example. This example uses the same data taken from id.investing.com. But the difference this time is that I use Microsoft Excel. Okay, the first thing we need to do, of course, open Microsoft Excel. So this is the weighted moving average formula. So WMA equals to sigma open parenthesis week for period X times demand in period X divided by sigma week. So here we use three months moving average, meaning three months, means we will have a period last month, two months ago, and three months ago. Then we give the week for the month. For the last month, we give the biggest week. If three months, it means three is the biggest week. Means last month, we gave week three. Two months ago, we gave week 2 and 3 months ago it was 1 so it means that the total week we will give is equals sum open parenthesis from 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus parenthesis so we get the total week value is 6 We continue to calculate the weighted moving average for the data we have. Because this is called 3 months, it means we will take the calculation for the fourth data, which is April. Because what we used as a reference before was January, February, and March for the previous 3 months. Means the method here is the same as week for period N. Meaning we have last month, we assume that the value is 3. Then don't forget to click F4. When we click F4, then the value becomes like this because we will use it to the bottom. Then we multiply the demand in that period, meaning March. We multiply by the value that is the price in March and then close the brackets. Next, we total this with the two months ago. The method is the same. It's just that the week has changed the two, two months ago. Then we will sum it up with 3 months ago. The method used is also the same and we get the top of the formula. Then don't forget guys, later than the results, we give open brackets and close brackets as shown in the picture. After that, then we divide by the total weight, which is 6, because it will be the same for every calculation, so don't forget to click F4. Then we will get the weighted moving average like this, like in the picture. After that, we can just drag everything. And finally guys, we get the all results. Okay, that's all from me guys. So thank you for your attention. Have a nice day and God bless you all. Bye-bye.